Hello students. Uh, today we will study about Kyoto nodiogram, also known as PTA. These days we are getting so many questions, image based questions, especially on Kyoto nodiograms to identify what type of hearing loss or to identify uh, the cause or uh, diagnosis. So, Kyoto nodiogram is basically uh, it helps us to differentiate uh, different types of hearing loss, for example, whether it is sensory neural hearing loss or conductive hearing loss or mixed hearing loss and also sometimes to diagnose various conditions important ones are otosclerosis uh, noise induced hearing loss so before we go to Pyotr audiogram first we should have an idea about certain notations uh, about them first is blue blue is used for left side red red is used for right side so if suppose you are given an audiogram in which all the markings are blue in color and they ask which side hearing loss, it is left side hearing loss. If red means right side hearing loss, then you should know certain symbols also. Cross, cross is for air conduction, left side. Square or rectangle is for air conduction mask, left side. Round. Round is for air conduction unmasked right side. Triangle, triangle is for air conduction masked right side. So one thing you should always remember are red, round, right. So right side will be red. If color not given then you should see round. About bone conduction. Bone conduction is usually marked by either this symbol or a bracket symbol. So whichever side this bracket opens is the side. So suppose this symbol is opening towards my left side, it's my left side when I am facing towards audiogram. So my left side is left, my right side is right, my left side this symbol means left. This is unmasked, this is must. So these are the things you should always remember before reading an audiogram. First thing blue is left, right is right. Second thing symbols. Cross is left, round is right. Whichever side this is opening in bone conduction is the side. Okay. Now we will go to an audiogram. In audiogram there are two axes. One is x axis, y axis, vertical axis that is amplitude. So how many de decibels is the hearing loss? Horizontal axis is frequency. What frequency the patient is having hearing loss? Both are important. Amplitude is important for quantifying the hearing loss. Frequency is important to diagnose certain conditions as well as which part of frequency is more affected. So we will see how is it important. First we should know that suppose this is zero and if we take this as normal hearing of a person. So up to 15 decibels loss is taken as normal up to 50 dec 15 decibel 15 So uh, in this always bone conduction will be at higher level air conduction will be at lower level. So always these symbols will be at top, these symbols will be at the lower part of audiogram. So let's draw an audiogram. Suppose this. This is bone conduction. This is air conduction. So if between 0 and bone conduction it is up to 15 decibels 
it is taken as normal. Be in between these two is air bone gap. If this AB gap is up to 15 to 20 decibel, it is normal. So how do we diagnose various hearing loss? If bone conduction is coming down, air conduction will always come down. And if both come down and there is no AB gap, it is sensory neural hearing loss. For example, suppose bone conduction comes to 40 decibel, air conduction comes to 45 decibel and AB gap is 5 decibels. So this difference is 40 decibels and this difference is 5 decibels. This is pure sensory neural hearing loss. Pure sensory neural hearing loss. Suppose Now in this case, suppose this is at 40 decibels and this gap is again 35 to 40 decibels. So this is mixed deafness because bone conduction has come down to 40 decibels. Further the air conduction has gone down to 40 to 40, 35 to 40 decibels. Both sensorineural plus conductive. So this is mixed deafness. Now another case if we see third case is suppose this is normal and bone conduction this is less than 15 decibel This is 45 decibels. So this is pure conductive hearing loss. So see, both have come down. Difference is less than 5 decibels. Sensory neural hearing loss. Both have come down plus AB gap is more than 20 decibels. This is this plus this mixed hearing loss. Bone conduction has not come down more than 15 decibel, but air conduction has gone down more than 20 decibels. It is pure conductive hearing loss. Now you can see differences between th uh, these three graphs. Both have come down, but difference is less than 15 decibels. Both have come down, but AB gap is more than 20 decibels. Only air conduction has come down, AB gap is more than 20 decibels. So 20 uh, pure connective mixed sensory hearing loss.